Hey, this is Matt with Onyx. I want to talk to you about one of our new exciting layers. It's the wetland layer. And if we go to map layers, we can find it in the new tree species and habitat maps folder. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And you can see how it pops blue on the map now for all the wetland areas. You can actually go into layer settings and there's woody wetlands or herbaceous wetlands. Herbaceous is going to be more of like your marshy, cattails, grassland wetlands. And woody is going to be, you know, more of your brush. Uh, your flooded timber, your river bottoms. And so you can kind of toggle those on or off. They're a little bit different color. But I'm gonna show you a couple different examples in some different states around the country and just to see the benefits of the wetland layer. So we're in Mississippi here and you can just see, you know, river bottom, kind of where flooded wetlands would typically be when stuff floods, depending on water level. Turn that layer on and see uh, where the water levels are. So in a place like South Dakota, you'll see it's all herbaceous wetlands here. And so uh, it's the lighter blue color. And as you zoom in, you can see uh, how it fades away. But really like this wetland doesn't have any water right now um, based on this aerial imagery, uh, but historically it is a wetland area. So when you go there based on water levels, current rain conditions, you know, there might actually be water there. So it's a good idea to kind of look around and mark some of these bigger spots when you're going to a new area and uh, just double check if they have water or they don't. Um, you never know based on water levels and flooding and all that stuff. So, uh, so it's good like in the pothole region, the Midwest here for like looking at prairie wetlands. And let's even go to the mountains here and we'll go find a spot in Montana and show you how you might use it in more of a mountainous area as well. Okay, so now we're in Montana and we're looking at some like a block management area here, forest service and some BLM and you'll see um, that you know there is like this wetland complex going across this BLM here in the mountains. So it's going to be you know, have some more moisture in this area, maybe some good wallows around here. It's going to be probably more aspen, poplars versus like pine um, and fir tree based, which is typically what we have here in Montana. So looking at these areas, it's like it's a different type of habitat. And oftentimes that can congregate animals or have some different food sources that might bring them in. So um, like finding these places on the map is really cool also uh, for the West as well. So that's our new wetland layer, so you can find it in the new tree species and habitat folder. So go ahead and turn that on and start scouting with the wetlands layer.